Okay, guys, I know what you're about to say, all right? I'm late. I should have made this video a long time ago. I, I honestly wasn't going to make this video. But then I received a comment of someone asking me if the starter bundle for the PlayStation 4 was worth it or not. And I decided maybe there are still some people on the fence trying to debate if they want to buy the starter bundle, if they shouldn't. So this video is just going to be a quick... I want to try and make it as quick as possible, just to run down um, all the details and, and all the items that you'll be receiving for this bundle. Um, let you know if it's worth it, my thoughts, and all that other stuff. It, this is mainly for PlayStation 4 players. If you're a PC, mobile, this is not an issue for you. Um, you can click off the video if you want or pay attention and just continue to watch. I'm, I'm okay with that as well. I just don't want to waste any more of your time. But let's 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 hop in, right? I just want to try and quickly go through this video, make it as short as possible. Apologies if I'm talking a little fast. But yeah, we have a lot of information to cover. Uh, I'm gonna try and just rapid fire through all this, all right? Okay, so this is the PlayStation 4 starter bundle. Um, just to do a quick summary, they give you a few items, uh, these fates, which are wishes in the game. You use them to pull characters and weapons on banners. Uh, gold, in-game gold. Uh, this purplish, pinkish gem are weapon XP. And these red and purple pages are character XP. And then they toss in a few food items that just aren't really relevant because you can easily purchase them in-game. You can easily craft them in-game, gathering the materials... And hunting for the materials is a pretty common thing to do in Genshin Impact. And before I tell you and go more in depth on this and, and tell you if this is worth it or not, I want to compare um I want to compare the PlayStation 4 starter bundle to something else, which is this. This is the Genshin Impact Battle Pass within the game. And if you guys don't know what a battle pass is. It's like a seasonal thing. It lasts probably somewhere between like 30 days to like 50 days or 60 days. It doesn't matter. It's like a, a period where you can earn just prizes for logging in every day, doing daily tasks, weekly tasks, monthly tasks, whatever it might be, just to gain battle pass experience and level your, your battle pass up. You start at level one, it goes all the way to level 30. And as you're seeing, the rewards are basically the same as the PlayStation 4 rewards that you're receiving, right? You see the character XP. You see the weapon XP. You see the in-game gold, the Mora. Um, the Fates are here. They have a different icon. Because I, I guess the, the Fates are going to be changing when the game actually releases. This is footage from Close Beta Test 3. But the Fates are here. The Acquaint Fates. Um, they also throw in these chests at level 20, 10, 15. These chests are talent up materials used to level up your character, your in-game character's skills. They have this chest at the end at level 30, which I think is a weapon ascension material. So it helps ascend your weapon. If, you're le if your weapon gets capped at level 20 and you want to level it up to 30, you need to ascend it first. So you need materials. This will provide some of those materials. At level 25, this gold chest with a sword icon on it, you get to choose between any one of these four-star weapons. So, three four-star weapon right there. That's not craftable in-game, by the way. Also, they toss in 680 Primo gems uh, at level 30 as well. So, there's, there's that. As you can see, a lot of prizes, right? Just for playing the game. And I, I took the liberty to crunch all these numbers down between the in-game battle pass and the PlayStation starter bundle. Because guess what? I believe these two are valued at the same price. PlayStation 4 starter bundle and US dollars. The in-game battle pass, I think also 10 US dollars. We didn't have access to microtransactions in the previous beta. Uh, global players were not able to purchase the paid battle pass, so we don't know for sure. But on the Chinese beta side of things, I think the players players were able to purchase it, and I think their currency got converted to U.S. dollars, and it was around like ten U.S. dollars. So yeah, just take that. They're both basically priced at the same thing, and 
on screen, I just want to show you guys a quick rundown comparing all the items from both sides of things, right? So for the PlayStation 4 starter bundle side, we have two Quaint Fates. We have 150,000 Mora. We have 20 Mystic Enhancement Ores, which are valued at 10,000 weapon XP each. 150 Heroes Wit, which is 20,000 character XP each. 80 Adventurer's Experience, which is valued at 5,000 character XP. And 50 Fine Enhancement Ores, which is valued at 2,000 weapon XP. And then they throw in the useless food items, in my opinion. Uh, the 10 Northern Smoked Chickens, the 10 Sauteed Matsutake, 10 Sweet Madame, and 10 Tea Break Pancakes. And that's the starter bundle for the PlayStation 4. On the Battle Pass side of things, they give you, for a total, this, this means you have to clear the entire Battle Pass. Or, Acquaint Fates, which the Acquaint Fates are used on the Beginner Banner and the Standard Banner um, in-game. For anyone wondering what the Fates are, they're, they're, they, they give you 3,150,000 Mora total. They give you a total of 335 Mystic Enhancement Ores, 132 Heroes Wit, and 12 Adventurers XP. And then bonuses that aren't even like on the PlayStation side. For the, for the Battle Pass, they give you an additional 5 Intertwined Fates, which is different than Acquaint Fates. The Acquaint Fates are only, only used for Beginner Banner and the Standard Banner. And on the closed Beta Test 3, the Standard Banner featured Diluke and Jean, 5-star characters. But these intertwined fates are only used on limited banners. So limited banners normally last like 12 to 14 days. They'll, vent, they'll feature like Venti, for example, a, play, a playable character, a five-star uh, character. They norm, the limited banners normally feature one five-star character or weapon with like three other four-star characters or weapons on the side. They also, so for the Battle Pass, also throws in 680 Primo Gems and Wishes. You can convert those Primo Gems into Wishes at 160 Primo Gems each. So 680 Primo Gems will net you 4 Wishes and then gets, gets you a quarter of the way to another Wish. So 4.25 right there. Uh, the 3 Talent Up Materials level up your character's in-game skills. 1 Weapon Ascension Material. And then that one four-star weapon of your cho choice. And that's that's everything. That's everything compared. So I, I just want to do... I, I want to tell you what the value of everything is combined. So on the PlayStation 4, you have the, the main things, right? The main things. You have those two Acquaint Fates. 150,000 Mora. You have a total... 300,000 weapon XP combined with all the gems, and then you have a total of 700,000 character XP with all the pages or pamphlets or whatever combined. And then on the Genshin Impact Battle Pass side, you have four Acquaint Fates, 3,150,000 total Mora, 3,000,000 350,000 weapon XP and then 2,700,000 total character XP. That's a lot, right? You're you're seeing the comparison right here between the PlayStation 4 Battle Pass or PlayStation 4 Starter Bundle and Genshin Impact Battle Pass. Also, that that's not even including the additional 5 intertwined fates thrown into the Genshin Impact Battle Pass with 680 more Primo Gems. Like, icing on the cake with the 4-star weapon, too. And they're both valued at $10. Where I'm assuming the Genshin Impact Battle Pass will be valued at $10, but 
looking at the numbers right here, even if the Genshin Impact Battle Pass wasn't at $10, what about $15? Try and double the prizes that you're getting from the PlayStation 4 Starter Bundle. Try and double that, right? Would that still be worth? What if the Battle Pass was $20, right? Try and double the prizes, the rewards that you're getting from the PlayStation 4 Starter Bundle, valued at $10. Compared to, hypothetically speaking, if the Genshin Impact Battle Pass was 20, you're still getting way more, right? You're getting so much more. So, my conclusion, if any of you guys are, are light spenders, if any of you guys only want to spend just a little bit, or you just want to make smart decisions with your money, um... I'll let you decide. In my opinion, I feel like the Genshin Impact Battle Pass is more worth it if you're going to be playing the game. If you're going to be regularly playing the game, the Genshin Impact Battle Pass is way more worth it for your money. If you aren't going to be playing that often and you want these items at the very beginning, because the, the way it is, is the PlayStation 4 Starter Bundle is just, if you want your prizes now, or do you want your prizes later, you know? Like, again, the PlayStation 4 starter bundle is, do you want it now? Genshin Impact Battle Pass is, do you want it later? Which they give you a lot more in return if you go for that later option. If you're more patient with getting your rewards, you're going to get a lot more worth for your money's worth, you know? And if you're a whale who has all the money in the world, I mean, I envy you. This is a non-issue. You can just buy whatever you want, right? You can just buy the PlayStation 4 starter bundle. You can buy the PlayStation. You can buy the... Battle Pass, you, you're probably not even watching this video, you know what I mean? You're, you're not even watching the video, because money's not an issue to you, you know? You have an endless supply, I get it. But yeah, that, that concludes um, this video. I, I do apologize if this was a bit long, I try to go as fast as possible. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope this was informative. If you guys have any other further questions that I may have missed, because I know looking back at this video and editing it, I'll be like, man, I... I talked about that. If you guys have any questions or are confused about anything, please don't be afraid. Leave a comment down in the section below. I will be more than happy to respond. I'm always replying to comments for anyone who has questions. And I think that is it. Thank you guys very much for watching.